Hi guys, welcome folks. In this session, we're gonna see how to set a Java home path in a Mac. I have received a lot of emails from, from all of you who are, who are learning Java for automation series. And I think most of you are using Mac machine. So don't worry, all the steps or all the videos in my series is gonna be same for either Windows user or Mac user. But there is a one setup step. I think initially I didn't cover that. And that's why I wanted to cover that gap. How do we set? Once you download a Java, the download is pretty much same like you do it for other applications. But you need to set this Java home path in a Mac. If you remember in my initial setup lectures, I have explained how to do that on Windows machine using environment variables, right? In a similar fashion, we're gonna do a little bit different steps on a Mac in order to make sure that Java is set up correctly and it's working fine, okay? So how do we do that? First of all, try to understand where the Java is located on the Mac, right? So most of the people doesn't know this itself. So I'll show you this today, where exactly this Java is located. And then check the bash profile. Uh, and I'm also gonna talk a little bit about what is the bash profile, okay? So that you'll understand this file, why we need this file and uh, just try to relate with uh, the environment variable on the windows. If you remember in, in the windows, the way we set the environment variables, we give a environment variable name and then a path, right? On a, on a similar line, uh, we're gonna do something in a bash profile. It's considered it like a text file, okay? So we're gonna see how to check the bash profile. Then we're gonna update this bash profile with the Java location. And then we're gonna check using a terminal. We're gonna type this command echo export Java home or just echo. So we'll understand whether it has been correctly set or not. Okay, so let's get started. My quick introduction, this is Saurabh, your friend. So this is the ideal location or a default location for most of you who are using the Mac. Uh, generally, it will be in this uh, USR libx underscore Java home, Java underscore home. This is gonna be the file. I'll, I'll help you how to locate this. Uh, generally, it's a hidden path, so you may not find it just like that. So you'll have to unhide it. And how to do that? Shift, command, and dot, or you can say period. So period is, I think, another word used by Greek and Latin terminology in order to explain that something has came to an end, which is basically a dot, okay? So uh, shift, command, dot, if you do this, you'll unhide your folders, and then you can go to the above path. And then we need to inform the bash profile about where to find a Java home file. This is the main intention. When I say how to set a Java path on a Mac, what we are trying to do here is we are trying to inform the bash profile that, hey, uh, can you look into this path for a Java home file? Okay, that's the whole purpose of uh, doing this setup. So let's go ahead. Cool. Now, uh, this is how I think all of you your folder structure may look like. So come on to your uh, <clears throat> hard drive. And then here, uh, like I said, generally you may not see that location, uh, USR, uh, all those things. What you need to do is shift, command, and period or a dot. So it will unhide all these things. Now go to USR, just type USR. It will be, yeah, something like this, you see? It's a hidden, okay? So by default, it will be hidden. Now under this hidden folder, uh, let me check what was that then libx so which is this and then here you see java underscore home so this is the this is the particular alias or this is the i would say in in a simple word this is the file which you want to inform to a bash profile okay now how do we do to how do we update that bash profile so open your terminal or if you don't have like this just type in here type terminal and you will open the terminal so once you open a terminal, type the commands I have mentioned in my slide, which is uh, basically nano space dot bash underscore profile and then click enter. Some people may ask you to use uh, a Vim command and, uh, but I would prefer this because it's pretty easy to edit using nano. It opens just like in text editor. Now here you see this first line. If you doesn't have this first line set already in your bash profile, which means you need to do it. If you see this export Java home and slash USR library, this kind of thing is already there, which means uh, your Java is already set. If it's not there, you'll have to add it. So check your bash profile. Like in my bash profile, I have a lot of other things as well. So ignore these things. You may not have all these things. So let's say I'm just 
I'm just saying that uh, you, you may have this blank bash profile. Another thing is if you don't have bash profile, then if you type nano dot bash profile, it's going to create a new bash profile file for you. Okay. And that in, in your case, it might be totally blank. So if that's the case, you need to copy paste this particular command. I'm going to give it in a description of this video. So just copy this command in your bash profile and then follow this to exit. And how do we do that? Just control exit. So just say control X. That's it, right? Because I didn't do any change. Otherwise, uh, it will ask you whether you want to change it or not. Let me show you that pretty quick. So this is how I am. And if I do any change, let's say I'm just uh, typing anything and then deleting anything. And now I'm trying to control exit. It's going to ask me like this. So in your case, if you're adding a new line, it will ask you, do you want to save it or not? In my case, I'll say no. In your case, you will type Y. So I'll say no. And that's it. I'll back here. Now, once I'm back here, uh, I want to check whether I have correctly set uh, my <coughs> Java or not, right? Now, how do we do that? You will type echo dollar sign Java underscore home. Okay. And hit enter. The moment you type this and you see a path similar to this, which means you are good to go. Your Java is correctly set on your Mac machine. Okay. So it's, it's pretty simple guys. Uh, the one who requested me to create this video, uh, this is for you. And if you face any issues, let me know in the comment section. Okay. Yep. Thanks for watching the video and we'll continue with the rest of our sessions in our series. Thanks. See you.